Hi guys, I'm Nick. And I'm John. And we, and we both, both like rocks. rocks. Today we're going to be showing you the three main rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. There are two main types of igneous rock, intrusive and extrusive. An intrusive rock forms deep under the Earth's crust, where liquid magma takes a long time to cool to form big crystals. For example, here is a biotite crystal and an apatite crystal. The other type of igneous rock are intrusive rocks. These are rocks that form when you take magma beneath the surface and erupt it out of a volcano. We have two examples here, and other examples of extrusive igneous rocks occur in places like Hawaii and Iceland. Extrusive igneous rocks often have small crystal sizes because the magma that erupts into lava cools very quickly when it reaches Earth's surface. Now let's talk about sedimentary rocks. There are two main types of sedimentary rocks, clastic and chemical. For a clastic sedimentary rock, they form from the erosion of other rocks where they're carried by wind and water into oceans, lakes, and rivers. An example is this conglomerate, which has tiny little pebbles of other rocks formed into one larger rock. There are also fossils. You often find fossils in clastic sedimentary rocks, and some of the best fossils are preserved in places like Indiana. The other type of sedimentary rock are chemical sedimentary rocks. These form when elements precipitate out of solution to form things like salt, for example. Precipitate sedimentary rocks, chemical sedimentary rocks, occur in places like the Great Salt Lake in Utah. The salt that you use on your dinner table comes from these types of rocks. The third type of rock are metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks form when you take any kind of rock and bury it deep under earth to where that rock begins to change. For example, if you took a sedimentary rock, such as this conglomerate, and buried it deep under the earth, it would change into this, a quartzite. There are two types of metamorphic rocks, non-foliated and foliated. Non-foliated metamorphic rocks don't have bands of minerals like there are in foliated metamorphic rocks. An example of a non-foliated metamorphic rock is a marble. These are often used in countertops and homes because they're very hard and durable. Now let's talk about foliated metamorphic rocks. A foliated metamorphic rock like this one forms at deep pressures and temperatures under the Earth's surface. There, it finds it best that the minerals align with each other into distinct bands, where like we see here, where we have light minerals and dark minerals, light minerals and dark minerals. Now let's quickly talk about the difference between a mineral and a rock. A mineral has a specific chemical formula that forms one type of crystal, and a rock is formed from many different types of crystals combined, like this igneous rock. So today, we've talked about the three main rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Now these three main rock types can interact with each other by turning into each other. For example, a sedimentary rock or a metamorphic rock, if it melts, can turn into an igneous rock. Or an igneous rock can get eroded and turn into a sedimentary rock. And that sedimentary rock could be buried deep enough to be turned into a metamorphic rock. Thanks for listening to us today. I'm Nick. And I'm John. And, and we, we love rocks. rocks.